I am Colin Bortner, one of the co-founders of IV Natal. Right now, many women cannot have children except through the use of donor eggs. This can be due to previous cancer treatment, age, or other factors. And each donor IVF cycle is the result of a complicated donor-patient matching process, which ultimately can cost patients tens of thousands of dollars or more. And at the same time, donor eggs are an incomplete solution. They're used in circumstances where there is no alternative that would help, children, uh, help women and families have genetic children. Our aim is to replace the entire egg donation process with a simple skin biopsy, and at the same time, help many women and families fulfill their desire to have genetic children. In short, we aim to transform a patient's own skin cells into new healthy egg cells for use in IVF procedures. This is an example of in, in vitro gametogenesis, or IVG, which just means creating eggs or sperm outside of the body. IVG was first demonstrated in mice four years ago by researchers at the University of Kyoto, but there remain enormous challenges to translating their approach to humans and further to commercializing and scaling it. For that reason, we are developing an alternative approach to IVG called direct reprogramming. The key insight behind direct reprogramming is that all of the cells in our body share the same genes, and all that distinguishes one cell type from another is which of those genes are being read and turned into proteins. Direct reprogramming technologies have been used with a wide variety of cell types, including neurons, Leydig cells, and testos uh, liver cells, um, which has allowed uh, researchers to produce these cell types uh, with greater efficiency and on shorter timescales than alternative approaches. The application of direct reprogramming to in vitro gametogenesis is so new and so exciting that it's attracted leading researchers to our work. We are advised by George Church at the Harvard Medical School, and we are collaborating on our reprogramming system with Dr. Stanley Chi's lab at the Stanford School of Medicine. There are two engineering challenges that we are solving to apply direct reprogramming to IVG. The first is avoiding DNA changes while reprogramming our cells. And the second is discovering the gene targets to produce new human egg cells. I'll briefly describe our solutions to those two challenges. First, all practical reprogramming systems today can cause changes to a cell's DNA, which would be absolutely unacceptable to patients and to regulators. That's why we are developing modified CRISPR proteins into a safe reprogramming system, which is incapable of introducing genome changes. Our starting point is, is uh, CRISPR activation and interference proteins, which we are producing in our lab and are already modified to not cut DNA. Then we are going one step further by developing an alternative delivery system for our proteins into the cells, which avoids all of the risks of genome modification inherent in established uh, delivery systems. Second, we are using large sequencing data sets and machine learning methods to find our targets. We're using data and machine learning to predict our gene targets, testing those targets with our CRISPR system, and then measuring the results with sequencing. Those results then feed back into our predictions and our target selection. In other words, we are moving through the search space of cell types with a map and a compass. We always know where we are and where we are going. What may not be obvious is how a startup could tackle this problem. These three charts show the exponential declines in the cost of computing power, gene synthesis, and DNA sequencing. These are the three core inputs to our business and proxies for other core inputs to our business. These exponential technology improvements are why our approach is not just possible, but it's practical. I wanna talk now about our progress. We are working on four major milestones which progressively de-risk our business. They are first, building a safe reprogramming system. Second, validating that system. Third, building a prototype, specifically applying our approach to producing primordial germ cells, which are a progenitor of egg cells. And finally, building our product, new healthy human egg cells. We are a brand new company. We started work three months into lockdown, but already we have achieved two of our milestones and we're making swift progress on our third. The fertility services market is forecasted to reach $36 billion this decade. Donor eggs alone are a multi-billion dollar market globally, and the, our, uh, 
product would be a categorical improvement over the status quo, allowing us to capture that existing demand while retaining 90% margins or more. At the same time, the number of egg banking cycles has grown exponentially. That represents the enormous unmet demand for new and better solutions to preserve and restore fertility, which is demand that our product could additionally capture. I wanna talk a little bit about our team. My co-founder, Jeff Shu, is our CSO. He has a PhD in molecular medicine from Case Western, did his postdoc in genetics and genomics at the Cleveland Clinic, and most recently led uh, bioinformatics for a pre-implantation genetic testing startup um, <laughs> for, uh, I'm coming from uh, uh, almost 10 years with Netflix, where I most recently led public affairs for the company's international expansions. My experience building teams, solving ho new hard regulatory problems, all in a fast growing business, are all transferable to this company's mission. Finally, my colleague Shivani Pandey most recently joined us from the biomedical engineering program at Johns Hopkins. She is so passionate about what we are building together that she relocated cross country during a global pandemic. As I mentioned, we are primarily advised by George Church at the Harvard Medical School. George is a pioneer in the field of synthetic biology and he and his, labs, uh, and he and his lab are uh, leaders in particular on cellular reprogramming and CRISPR systems. We have also benefited enormously from the support of our partners, investors, and collaborators who have all put our business on a firm foundation and helped us progress and scale incredibly fast. Right now, we are building a prototype. After we finish that, we intend to raise a seed round to support building our product. We are looking for partners who want to help us revolutionize human fertility and make the world a better, more just, and more equitable place. If you'd like to learn more, please don't hesitate to contact us. And thank you so much for your time today.